Robert, stop it. Y'all quit playing. Quit okay. playing. Robert. I didn't do this stuff. This is not me, y'all. I'm fighting for my life. Need this when you look this way. Well, just hours after R. Kelly gave that explosive interview to CBS News denying allegations of sexual abuse, he is back in jail this evening, this time on accusations he hasn't paid child support. Now, this is the latest problem for Kelly, who was charged with sexually abusing women and teenagers last month. The interview that Kelly gave denying those accusations stunned many people, including a Metro Atlanta couple who claim their daughter Joycelyn has been held against her will for years in his Chicago mansion. Fox 5's Portia Bruner joins us from our live desk with details on a surprising phone call from that young woman. Portia. Yeah, so Sine, it turns out our Kelly's management team was watching the Savage Family's news conference right here in DeKalb County this morning as the couple fired back at the artist claims that they gave their daughter away to R. Kelly. Now, after they blamed R. Kelly for keeping their daughter from them for two years, Joycelyn actually called her parents. I told you a million and a million of times where I am, and I am very happy. The phone call from Joycelyn Savage came minutes after her parents and sisters stood in front of cameras to respond to R. Kelly's explosive denial of sexual misconduct. Y'all quit playing. Quit playing. Robert. I didn't do this stuff. This is not me. I'm fighting for my life. The 52-year-old artist erupted as he tried to plead his own case of innocence during an interview with CBS News anchor Gail King. How stupid would it be for me to, with my crazy past and what I've been through, oh, right now I just think I need to be a monster and hold girls against their will. Timothy and Jonjolin Savage watched the interview with their youngest daughters Wednesday morning. It was mostly disturbing for all of us. I sit there and I want to not just pray for my daughter, but pray for Mr. Kelly to get some type of healing. The savages say they were disgusted by the singer's accusations that they gave Jocelyn to R. Kelly years ago and insisted she's not been allowed to communicate with her family for two years. If it's not me, if it's not my wife, not her sisters, no one, grandparents, is that normal, guys? You tell me. Savage family attorney Gerald Griggs says after this news conference, a call came from R. Kelly's management team, followed by the call from Joycelyn. And despite her parents' concerns that she's being held against her will, the young woman told her parents she's okay. How will we know you're happy when we don't hear from you in two years? Well, I have to go now. Now, the twists and turns in this case just keep coming. In the last few minutes, we did learn R. Kelly was taken into custody in Chicago for failure to pay $151,000 in back child support. His publicist just told reporters the artist got behind on child support payments because of all of the legal issues he's facing. We'll have more on that coming up at 6. Tom and Sine. All right, Portia, thanks.